all cell phones. Ladies and gentlemen, the College of Arts and Sciences class of 2021, followed by the stage party. I am pleased to introduce Donna J. Lavoy, Interim Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, who will preside over this afternoon's pre-commencement exercises. Good afternoon. You are the third ceremony of three today. Uh, we're gonna go a little rogue this ceremony, so I'd like everybody to get your cell phones out. Stage party wants to take some pictures of all of you. So, um, parents, this is, we haven't done this yet today, but here's your chance to get a picture of everybody all in one place. I want us to remember this moment. Y'all need to smile. There's the joke. <laughs> all right. Got it, Kathleen? Okay. Good afternoon again, and welcome to the 40th Annual College of Arts and Sciences Pre-Commencement Exercises. I'd like you to please stand while Father Mike May, 
from the Department of Mathematics and Statistics will offer the invocation. Heavenly Father, fill us with gratitude, inspire us with hope, and inflame us with holy desires as we come before you. We have much to be grateful for. Let us be thankful for the graduates. They have grown in their time here and have matured as they continue to grow. They have studied, given services, inspired one another, and made lifelong threat friends. Let us be thankful for those who've helped the graduates. The graduates have been supported and shaped by their teachers, friends, parents, and family. We have much to be hopeful about. We have seen the talent, care, and hard work of the graduates. We know they can have a positive impact on a world that needs their contributions. May they spend their lives as men and women for others and achieve the dreams they have for themselves and for the world. May they also achieve the impact we dream they will have upon the world. We are filled with the holy desires for these graduates. We want them to desire to make the world better and more just than they found it. We want them to make us proud that we had some part in shaping who they became. We ask this in your name and for those of us who are Christian, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Father May. Please be seated. It is my pleasure at this time to introduce the assistant and associate deans of the College of Arts and Sciences who make up the members of the stage party today. Please hold your applause until I've introduced them all. Beginning on my left, Dr. April Trees, Associate Dean of Graduate Affairs. Dr. Kathleen Llewellyn, Assistant Dean for Humanities and Arts. Dr. Lori Russell, Assistant Dean for Science and Mathematics. Professor Gary Barker, Associate Dean of Undergraduate Affairs and one of our readers for this afternoon. And sitting off on the floor, Dr. Elizabeth Richard from the Department of Communication, our second reader for today. Please join me in acknowledging the stage party. We now have a video message from Dr. Fred Pastello, President of St. Louis University. Greetings, graduates. While my formal remarks to all of the graduates will be delivered in the virtual commencement on Sunday, I wanted to take this opportunity to acknowledge this moment of passage at your pre-commencement. This is your day. Congratulations to the parents, family, friends, and other supporters watching virtually. We are pleased to share this momentous occasion with you. We share your pride in these Billikens. While the past 15 months have been difficult, together we pulled through as one slew. Despite the challenges and obstacles, you made it. All of us at SLU celebrate all of you who are now embarking on the next step in the journey in your lives. You leave prepared to go forth and set the world on fire. Remember that regardless of where your life's journey takes you, you will always be welcome here at SLU. May God bless each of you and St. Louis University. Thank you, Dr. Pastello. We assembled today to honor the achievements of this outstanding class of 2021. It gives all of us great pleasure to recognize your accomplishments and the successful completion of your degrees. You've worked hard to arrive at this day, and you have done so with the support, encouragement, and sacrifice of those gathered here and watching on live stream. Parents, spouses, children, other relatives, and friends. Additionally, this wonderful day would not be possible without the dedication of the college faculty, advisors, and administrators. To begin our ceremony, we're gonna begin by recognizing those graduating students who are members of honorary societies and who are recipients of special departmental awards. In your program, there are brief statements that summarize the objectives or goals of each honorary society. 
and descriptions of the particular awards as well as the names of the recipients. This list reflects our graduates' participation in a wide variety of activities and is a testament to the class of 2021 success, not only in the classroom, but also on campus, in the local community, and the world itself. I ask that each student who is a recipient of an award or honors to please stand at this time and please join me in recognizing these graduates. At this point, we would like to recognize a faculty recipient for a College Excellence Award in Teaching. Each year, the College of Arts and Sciences gives three undergraduate teaching awards to outstanding teachers in the college, one each from the areas of the humanities, the natural sciences, and the social sciences, one award for outstanding undergraduate mentoring, one excellence award in graduate mentoring, one excellence award in graduate teaching, one Excellence Award in Adjunct Teaching, and one Service Excellence Award. This year I have asked Dr. Colleen McCluskey of the Department of Philosophy, this year's winner of the Helen I. Mandeville Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Teaching in the Humanities, to speak at our ceremony today. Please welcome to the podium Dr. McCluskey. Colleagues, parents, friends and family members, and members of the class of 2021. I doubt that I need to remind you of the ways in which the pandemic has impacted our lives and especially has impacted your college experience. The pandemic radically restructured your lives as students. Many of us have lost loved ones to this disease. It has also unearthed racial, gendered, economic, and other social inequities whose notice no one, including those of us who live privileged lives, can now escape. I want to acknowledge all of this, but I also want to celebrate what ought to be celebrated, namely, your resilience, your perseverance, and your accomplishments and leave you with some words to consider as you move forward with your lives. In 1944, Albert Einstein wrote the following words in a letter to a young black physicist, Robert A. Thornton, who was then teaching at the University of Puerto Rico. Quote, I fully agree with you about the significance and educational value of methodology as well as history and philosophy of science. A knowledge of the historic and philosophical background gives that kind of independence from prejudices of his generation from which most scientists are suffering." Close quote. Don Howard has argued that for Einstein, philosophical study enables physicists to develop what he calls an independence of judgment, allowing them to visualize new possibilities and to challenge received scientific dogma, two things for which we now celebrate Einstein. I would not presume to contradict the words of such an esteemed scientist as Einstein, but I think that the sort of intellectual imagination that Einstein thought was a product, especially of philosophical study, is cultivated by all of the courses you have taken during your tenure at SLU. Aristotle argued that the product of education is wisdom. Reflecting on your own education, your classes in the natural sciences, the social sciences, the arts, and yes, the humanities provide a foundation upon which to visualize innovative achievements, creative solutions to thorny problems, and resourceful models that can help us resolve persistent social injustices. One of the most popular books ordered from Amazon during the pandemic 
not surprisingly, has been Albert Camus' The Plague. First published in 1948, this book describes a fictional epidemic that strikes the city of Iran in Algeria. It has been interpreted as Camus' commentary on the horrors of World War II, especially the Holocaust. But I would argue that it also illustrates how ordinary citizens can unite to battle a threat to the common good. One of Camus' central characters is the ironically named Grand, whom I suspect we are meant to view as a failure. Not only is he undistinguished as a civil servant, but his wife deserted him when it became clear that the marriage was going nowhere. And for years, he has struggled to write a novel, unable to advance past the opening sentence. Yet, when Dr. Rio issues a call for volunteers for the sanitation squads, this insignificant man steps up to become one of Rio's stalwarts. Camus' lesson here is the important role that each of us plays in promoting the well-being of our communities, regardless of our station in life. Each of us can leave this world better than how we found it. And my hope is that the wisdom you have gained from your work at SLU will enable you to move beyond prejudice, beyond ossified dogma, to achieve the visions for the greater good that Einstein thought possible in physics. Grant harbors a dream that when he finally finishes his novel, his magnum opus, and ships it off to the publishers, the editors, after reading it, will stand up and proclaim, hats off. I suspect that this was a quaint phrase, even in Camus' day. But it captures Grant's hope that his book will, promote, pr will provoke great admiration and high esteem in his readers. So, in admiration of you today, class of 2021, in honor of your achievements in the face of unprecedented hardship and adversity, I say to you, hats off. Hats off to you, class of 2021. Thank you, Dr. McCluskey. At this time, it is my pleasure to present the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science. We will announce each student's name, their major academic honors which they have earned. Please, students, graduates, stand when your name is read. Those of you in the stands, I normally at this time would ask you to hold your applause, but I encourage you to applaud each graduate as they stand up, not hold your applause. Celebrate. This is a moment to celebrate. Please note that those students attending virtually will be recognized after all of the in-person graduates have been announced. Candidates for degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences are Divya Abaraju, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Chidera Agbu, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. Shana Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Cum Laude. Emma Anderson, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Srinidhi Angara, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jennifer Eikent, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Alyssa Badescu, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Spanish. Wenying Bai, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, 
magna cum laude. Gina Basil, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Cassidy Beatty, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, cum laude. Audra Bell, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Women's and Gender Studies, magna cum laude. Matthew Blankley, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, magna cum laude. Taylor Bond, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, magna cum laude. Eleanor Borders, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Spanish, magna cum laude. Caitlin Boric, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, summa cum laude. Kirsten Bourbon, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, summa cum laude. Alana Bourgeois, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Jenna Bramer, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Ryan Brooks, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Philosophy, magna cum laude. Keenan Byrne, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Sociology, summa cum laude. Kaylee Backus, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Caitlin Binboidel, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Adele Buczynskis, Summa Cum Laude, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Russian Studies. Nora Kaher, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Abigail Cambry, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Cum Laude. Charles Castro, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Hunter Chama, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, cum laude. Alyssa Chavez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, cum laude. Christian Chellis, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Nicholas Chen, Bachelor of Science, Public Health, Sociology, summa cum laude. Sally Chen, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, summa cum laude. Osha Chestnut Perry, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Daria Klukas, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Magna cum laude. Catherine Kuhlman, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Magna cum laude. Olivia Crabtree, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Abigail Delbridge, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Magna cum laude. Caroline Doherty, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, summa cum laude. Eva Donova, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Marie Downey, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, Bioethics and Health Studies, summa cum laude. Hannah Dykhaus, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Magna Cum Laude. Susan Engstrom, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, Anthropology, 
magna cum laude. Alec Falkenhayn, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Kate Fisher, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, magna cum laude. Catherine Fitzgerald, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Erin Gallagher, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, International Studies, magna cum laude. Trahitha Ganga, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, cum laude. Olivia Girding, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Anthropology, cum laude. Daniel Gefeller, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Amir Girgis, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, magna cum laude. Jane Goebel, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Isabel Gordon, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Allison Hall, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. Zafir Hamim, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Hannah Hood Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, summa cum laude. Zoe Johns, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Dallas Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Sarah Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Anthropology, cum laude. Gabrielle Johnston, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, cum laude. Sarah Jones, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, International Studies, summa cum laude. Gabriella Cater, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, summa cum laude. Claire Kennedy, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Katie Kirsting, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science, Biology, cum laude. Jane Kanukaden, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Ali Kazmi, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Eugen Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, summa cum laude. Yu Shin Kim, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Samer Khalil, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Grace Kleckler, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Ryan Klein, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Sahithi Kamenani, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, cum laude. Annabeth Lawrence, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Megan Lee, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Zhao Yi Li, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Rebecca Livigny, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Madison Leonardi, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, cum laude. Sarah Mahler, 
Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Patricia Mansfield, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Jennifer Marciniak, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Anne Marie Matthews, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Megan Mazander, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Claire McNamara, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, summa cum laude. Ariane Mendoza, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Catherine Mueller, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Caitlin Mussey, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Dawson Myers, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Jenny Ingo, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Abigail O'Brien, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. Audrey Ofori Kuragu, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Joseph O'Hara, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Catherine O'Leary, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, summa cum laude. Lauren Pedke, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Lynette Pinto, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Shannon Quinn, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Pranjuli Rajalakshmi, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. Catherine Ransom, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Joseph Reznikov, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Tanya Rojas, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, magna cum laude. Bridget Ryan, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Shannon Sable, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, magna cum laude. John Stegeman, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, magna cum laude. Madeline Strand, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, summa cum laude. Marley Stubblefield, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. Meredith Teodoro, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Tame Train, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. Grace Urban, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Luke Van Gorp, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Mega Verma, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, summa cum laude. Colleen Watson, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, magna cum laude. Kirby Wyland, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, cum laude. Megan White, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Emma Winningham, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology, summa cum laude. August Wise, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Biology, cum laude. Margaret Woods, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology, magna cum laude. Dawson Young, Bachelor of Science, Psychology, cum laude. <clears throat> Candidates attending virtually for degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences are 
Ziad Ahmed, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. Morgan Brown, Bachelor of Science, Forensic Science. Claire Creedon, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology, Cum Laude. Twinkle Patel, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Summa Cum Laude. Rosanna Sandoval, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience, Summa Cum Laude. Samuel Scott, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. <laughs> Please give a congratulatory round of applause to the College of Arts and Sciences Class of 2021. Graduates, please take this moment to stand and recognize the efforts of all of those friends and family members who have assisted you during this period of study. Stand and applaud your family. Please be seated. <clears throat> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the faculty and staff of the College of Arts and Sciences, many of whom will be lined up outside the arena to congratulate you as you exit. Our staff work tirelessly to ensure that student needs are met and that the infrastructure that supports students as they register, take classes, and receive grades is in place. Our faculty care deeply about their students, encouraging them, evaluating them, praising them for their creativity and hard work and equipping them with skills and knowledge that will last a lifetime. Our faculty tirelessly give of themselves to our students as they help them not only learn, but to grow and discern their particular calling and vocation. The faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences have challenged these graduates to live out the slew mission of pursuing truth and transmitting knowledge for the greater glory of God and service to humanity. It is personally humbling to work with such a fine, brilliant, and dedicated group of teacher scholars. And while they could not be inside the arena today to celebrate today's achievement, please join me in a round of applause of appreciation and gratitude for their work. I would also like to express special thanks to the readers, the faculty marshals, and the staff of the Office of the Dean, particularly Kathy Zimmer and Jane Beckerley, for all of the hard work put into planning this event today. Before we say goodbye, I want to remind you that with great power comes great responsibility. The world around us is plagued with violence, suffering, injustice, war, disease, and more problems than any of us could solve in 10 lifetimes. That's a fact of human existence. However, because we have been given the gift of an education, we must each do whatever is in our power to fight back against the injustices and suffering of the world and make it a better place, even in small ways. In the words of American philosopher and political activist, Dr. Cornell West, quote, None of us alone can save the nation or the world, but each of us can make a positive difference if we commit ourselves to do so. I urge each of the graduates in this room to make that commitment to be the positive difference this world needs. As graduates of St. Louis University, you are each well equipped to do this and more. I know I speak for all of the faculty, staff, and administrators when I say how excited and curious we will be to watch your lives unfold in the years to come. And I hope that you will all return to SLU again and again over your lives to tell us of your adventures and your accomplishments. To close and to follow the custom of our former deans, I would like to ask God's blessings on you in the Irish tradition. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warmly on your face, and may the rains fall gently on your fields. And until we meet again, may the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand.
congratulations, graduates of 2021.